We could definitely hope. Yes. I think. <laughs> but Bunch already boasting in the chat. Never one to shy away from giving himself credit. But I gave him credit, so I can't give him too much flack for that. <laughs> yep. Up next on deck, we got D-Buzz versus the one true Snorlax over on Loser's side. This is going to be for a chance to play into, uh, I believe, Loser's semis? Uh, so, already off. I believe they just finished button check. Yeah, I think that you're right. One True Snorlax getting walked into this corner already. Oh no! Yeah, again, this is a scary position to be in if you're One True Snorlax right now. Oh Ooh, wow, the fear! Diva. Oh my god, oh, the Perhaps taxes. not the fear. Yeah, I think expecting some kind of move to... Oh, no okay. more guard! Debus is gonna have to be careful right now. This is... Oh! What? Oh, the the dot donkey kick. kick! Wow, with this game, like, you never know what to expect. Holy shit! Debus seriously donated their entire life bar to charity and then <laughs> cashed out with a raw donkey kick after dashing around like a madman for a whole round. Yeah, he earned it, that's for sure. One true Snorlax, again, breaking down that guard. Really is putting him in a nice position right now, but is Zebus gonna throw out a wild donkey kick? Let's find out. I'm betting so. I don't know. I feel like Debus is not afraid to, obviously in that situation it was rough, but it seems like Debus is not afraid of losing the guard gauge. Just kind of like dragging out these games, making it last really long, walking into donkey kicks at round start and making me sound like an <laughs> idiot. I think we can all agree that donkey kicks are OP. They're great. I love them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah nerf donkey. <laughs> nerf donkey kick. Yep. Alrighty. Well, in the meantime. Yeah, the, the interesting thing too, and the great thing about donkey kick, one hit KO. Um, Plus three on guard break as well. So you, you get set up pretty nicely if you land a donkey kick for guard break. And it minus 14 frames. So mind you, like it, it has some disadvantage with being able to be punished. Um, obviously, you can just donkey kick someone in return. However, uh, I think it's probably among one of the best buttons in the game. We are still kicking, and that was a pun. <laughs> oh god. We were discussing the donkey kick. Yeah, so as long as you're not, like, literally in the uh, the first active frame of the knee attack, I feel like you end up in something of a spacing trap more than anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, too, because if you space it right, it's very, very difficult to counter. It's very difficult to punish, and then you're able to just throw out something like a knee or a kick again. So you're absolutely correct in that you, you're kind of stuck in a spacing trap. Assuming that your opponent's throwing out the donkey kick is aware of that spacing. See? See it right there. Yeah, no, that's that's exactly it. It's like if you block it at that tip there, it's, yeah, it's your turn. Maybe the crouching attack will hit, but with the way the frames are and with how long you have to wait for it to get out, they could backdash, they could walk back. I like the moving back and forth, getting in with the low. Ooh, Ooh. but debuff with the punish. Very good punish by debuff. Bus. Sorry, guys. If I mispronounce your name, I'm so sorry. I'm so nervous. <laughs> oh my god, the amount of 
raw donkey kicks that D-Bus is eating. I it's love like, it. I love it. Can we appreciate it, it though? It's so good. D-Bus has this willingness to just play and surrender his life gauge, and he's playing so passively. But I, I don't know if it's like an expectation that he's not going to be dealing with the donkey kick, or if he just... I just... I feel like a little bit more activity exactly like that. <laughs> no, uh, definitely. I'm... I think... Oh, sorry, Emily. No, go ahead. I was going to say, oh, I barely had time to, to commentate with some of these things. But I was going to say, uh, Debos definitely seems to be playing a little more passively. One True Snorlax taking control of the pacing quite a bit. But that doesn't to write Debus off. I think he's being very conscious of the spacing, but just not conscious enough. Yeah, this is set point now for One True Snorlax. Backing way the... What? What? Uh, hmm. I, I love one true Snorlax's uh, use of donkey kick and his spacing. It's so, it's good. Like, he knows when to just whip it out and go for the win. Up 3-0. Yeah, you're you're totally right. The majority of those were in these kind of safe spaces. We didn't see, yeah, especially definitely. as the set progressed, they were, uh, you know, in that range where it ends up being that kind of tech trap. And He's I don't so know what good at went controlling on. Controlling the range. Controlling the range and pushing out his buttons at the right ranges. Perfect. And I think what you can learn from um, Footsies, you can apply to any other fighting game like Street Fighter V or Tekken 7. It's, it's very core uh, fundamentals. And it's just fun to watch at this kind of make in this type of way. I love 